finishing packing up. As you can see, we rented our car. Carter is in here about to drive us. We are about to leave the house, head out to West Virginia on a family road trip. It's all about uh, outdoors, traveling together, being on the open road. So we're excited to share this little trip. Um, it was easy to arrange this where we're going with um, West Virginia tourism. So we just picked up the rental car, packing the entire car up, um, locking up the house, arranging everything, um, and ready to hit the road from where we are in the Philadelphia area. It's about a five hour drive. So we got everything set up, ready to head out. Um, so yeah, Carter, say you ready to go? Say bye-bye. We hitting the road. After a scenic drive through Pennsylvania and ending up in West Virginia, we arrived in Wheeling where we were staying at the Ogle Bay Resort. When you arrive on the property, you check in at the main part of the resort and they'll tell you where you'll be staying. We ended up staying at the cottages, which had an amazing view of the golf course right in front of us. We made it to our destination at um, in West Virginia. We were staying at Ogle Bay Resort and the location we're staying at on the resort is actually called Spiel Cottages. So I'm gonna show you some of the cottage, well, show you the cottage we're staying in. But you can kind of see the area, there's a bunch of cottages. We are on the hill in front of the golf course and then entering in here. We have this whole cottage to ourselves. Still finding the light switches, but here we have the living room. We have a nice fireplace, which is going to be great because it is chilly in here. Um, we have our own parking area, so you can see the family is getting out out there. We have a nice kitchen area. Um, nice cutely decorated everything that we need plenty of space a refrigerator dishwasher stove um, so we could stay here and cook so it's gonna be great if we have leftovers um, they have this little dining area um, so this would be great if you have a larger family as well there's only three of us but obviously this area would have been great if we want to bring um, a lot more um, people with us. So there's a few bedrooms. So we have one bedroom here, which has two beds, um, two looks like full size beds. We have a second bedroom with full size beds, um, closet space. We have a bathroom in here, double vanity. Um, so that's one bathroom. Then we have a second bathroom with a double vanity. And then going further, we have another bedroom with double beds and then a whole other bedroom with double beds. So there's not really a master suite in here, but there are plenty of beds. So you could fit probably 10, 10 people in here. I mean, now there's about eight beds, eight beds to fit two people and 16 people. So it's a good amount of room for a lot of people. So if you are wanting to travel with your large family, it's good to go. So we're gonna get here, get comfortable, and then we're gonna be off to dinner. In the main portion of Olga Bay Resort, there are a lot of fun activities for the family to take advantage of, as well as other dining options. So right before heading off to dinner, we decided to take a look around and found the arcade, which is fun for the entire family to play games while you wait for your seating. Then we headed over to Glassworks Grill where we were able to eat and enjoy family time together and everyone was able to find food that they could enjoy because of the extensive and very family friendly menu. All right, we are up a little early this morning um, on our way to breakfast. Uh, so the great thing about the resort is that there are plenty of dining options at Ogle Bay. Um, so we're up about to go to the infield dining room, probably butchering that right now, um, for breakfast. And then we're actually gonna to the trolley right out front of the uh, main lodge to go over for the behind the scenes tour of the zoo. After enjoying our buffet style breakfast, we headed out to the front of the resort and caught the trolley. After a few short minutes, we ended up at the Good Zoo, which is a zoo right on the Ogle Bay Resort. This good zoo is actually one of the highlight places of Wheeling, West Virginia, since the zoo itself actually houses 50 species, 20 of which are actually endangered. At the zoo, you can explore the Outback exhibit in the Lower Keat Landing, 
as well as observing a lot of other animals and having a behind the scene experience. The behind the scene experience is a little different than going to the zoo and just walking around yourself. Since you're actually taken around on a golf cart where you're able to go into the animal hospital, feed some of the animals directly, such as throwing grapes to some of these big pigs, um, as well as feeding some of the lemurs as we saw a little bit earlier, and then being able to learn a lot about the animals that are right on property yeah. that you wouldn't hear if you actually weren't walking around with one of the amazing zookeepers. There was so much here that Carter loved doing, being able to see certain animals, going actually behind the gates into some of the exhibits, depending on what the animal was. We couldn't go into this wolf exhibit that Carter was obsessed with, but at least he got to see the wolf out. We were able also to go to some of the more um, indoor aspects and see some of those animals that you wouldn't typically see because they are being taken care of. You don't want to try pet him? No. <laughs> it's okay. Can I get you? Do I smell like snacks? I'm gonna smell like snacks. No. Hey, be careful. You wanna pet him? Good job. Good. <laughs> Make sure he doesn't get. So this is Swiss, mozzarella, and blue. <laughs> They're all named after cheese. <laughs> I think he just more enjoys them licking his hand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I say I don't think that's your water. water. You get fresh water and you're gonna drink the puddle. After it raining the majority of the day, the sun finally came out. Um, so we're here during the summertime where we're having intermittent rain. Um, but I wanted to show you all this view from where we are staying. So this is, we're at Spidell Cottages, um, which you can kind of see some of these cottages out here. Here's the one that we are staying in. Um, but you can see there is a golf course. So the amazing, gorgeous view of West Virginia, where we're out here off the beaten path, away from everything, a great family getaway. Um, you come out here in the morning, there's a picnic table. So if we want to eat and make food, we can come out here and watch this. Um, so right now we are on our way. We are heading um, out to actually the city of Wheeling because we are in Wheeling at Ogle Bay Resorts. We're heading um, downtown. We're going to do a wine tasting at Good Wine Mansion. Um, and then we're going for an Italian dinner um, actually also in the city of Wheeling um, called at Figurati's. So we're back on the road heading out um, and everything right now from Ogle Bay um, most places we've been have been on um, resorts so there's plenty of places to eat but we're going off resort now 15 minute drive at the most so very easy to get to um, and a great scenic view so you can see some of it as we're driving after a very short ride from the resort we ended up at Good Mansion Wine where we we're able to take part in a pre-dinner private wine tasting experience now the wine tasting experience isn't something that often happens, but we enjoyed it nevertheless. And hopefully you get to enjoy it too when you visit Wheeling. Next, we went to Figaretti's, which is a local Italian restaurant that is family run. Quick tip on this, if you're planning on visiting Figaretti's, make sure you get there early. They don't often take reservations and the restaurant fills up quite quickly with visitors as well as locals because the food is so popular and it is so delicious that there are constantly people there at the tables as well as at the bar itself. The next morning we decided to venture into downtown Wheeling. Our first stop was at a local cafe called Mugshots, which is named after the fact that it's decorated with mugshots of some famous people. And during your stay, you could actually get your own mugshot taken and hung on the wall. I suggest asking the owner himself who runs his own business what drinks and food to get because he'll let you know what you'll like. Then after a few short minutes, we ended up downtown. We're able to visit the Center Market. There are a variety of different shops within Center Market as well as around Center Market. It was great to actually see which ones were open, what are some local things that are being sold, and also see what local restaurants were in the area so that we can enjoy. We walked around for quite a bit, enjoying the area and actually frequenting some of the shops before heading to the later Alligator, which is right there in the area for lunch. After some pool time at the resort and allowing Kara to take a nap, 
we ventured down to Heritage Port where Table 304 set up an amazing picnic right on the water so that we can spend family time together, enjoy the scenic area, and enjoy scrumptious food as well as a charcuterie board that you can see here. You could also see the LaCroix drinks that she was able to supply. And then we had some food that we were able to bring ourselves to enjoy and spend time together, listen to music, have Carter play around in the area at Heritage Port, and just have a relaxing time in the fresh air. With Table 304, there is no hassle you have to worry about. Before you get to the area that you're planning on visiting, everything will be set up for you with instructions on how to use it. And then when you're done, just a quick call and it'll be taken down all for you. After our little picnic, we ended up at Ellen Jack's, which is in downtown Wheeling to enjoy a nice family dinner, the last dinner of the night. If you want something fresh seafood with a lot of flavor, I highly recommend visiting this restaurant. Right before heading back on the road, we visited Sarah on Mains for our final breakfast. We got full, comfortable, and then off we went back to PA.